One late February evening, I was driving a few students back to the school after a wonderful choral activity. I'm sorry, was, you say driving a few students back to the school? Yes. Okay. Are you going to let me keep going? Finish? Sorry, I just want to <laughs> clarify what I just heard. I was feeling pretty spiffy in the school's brand new transit van. Oh, okay. Everything was fine go. until someone's sweet dog ran onto the highway. Naturally, I was going 70 miles per hour and couldn't stop in an instant. Unfortunately, there was a new addition to doggy heaven that night. Being a first-year teacher, I didn't know how to handle the situation. I pulled over and quickly turned to the students to make sure they were okay, and then I boldly stated, I'm going to call my dad. My dad told me to call my boss. Instead, I called a colleague. They did not answer. Then I called another colleague. They told me to call my boss just like my dad did. He told me everything was fine, and then he, then he had me describe the damage done to the vehicle and to the dog. He wanted pictures of the animal to send to insurance. So I locked the students in the car, walked up the highway to find the biggest portion of the dog that remained, and I took pictures of it. At this point, 15 minutes had passed since the original death sentence, and several other vehicles had also hit the same carcass. It wasn't a pretty sight. I walked back to the van and got in. I didn't know what to do. On the remaining drive home, we held a small funeral service for the dog, whom we appropriately named Rudolph due to his sudden red appearance. <laughs> we read scripture. What? Because of the blood? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> we read. This person is sadistic. Whoever, if this is an actual person, this person is messed up in the head. We read scripture to help. Again, this could be AI, and then I've edited it and had a really good time. Who knows? I see that. We read scripture to help with the loss of a loved one. One student made up a eulogy, and I sang. It has been a few years since this happened. There is now a shrine to Rudolph in my classroom, and I force my freshmen to listen to this story year after year. Fact or fiction? Hmm. Okay. You said late February? <laughs> That's the question you had? So you said, I'm just clarifying. You said it was late February. It was in February. Because I'm thinking likely this person's from the state of Missouri. May or not be true, but... Late February, what event would you have to take a school van to students at? AI okay. doesn't know when events happen. So it could have picked a random month. Or there could be an event. That I mean, late you don't February go to. Is, is very specific. So I don't know if it said late February. The red it said Rudolph because colored in red, that's just like. Next level. Again, I have a lot of fun disgusting. editing a lot of these AI stuff, so you have to keep that in mind too. Fact. You think it's fact? Yes, and I think this is a way for you to get me to say fiction, but it's clearly fact. But it's clearly not. No, it is fact. It's I fact. know it was fact. <laughs> that was Juliana Pyle. Uh, Hold on. I just want to clarify. It was late the, February. Was the Rudolph thing actually said in there? Yeah. Because of its red appearance? Yeah. <laughs> I took out some stuff because she was pretty descriptive in a lot of things, and so I tried and to make found it sound the largest part of the corpse. She, she wrote that of part. the of the carcass of the dog. This is all real. Oh no! 